What are multiples? Multiples are the big numbers you get when you multiply. So here we see three times two equals six, three times three equals nine, three times four equals 12. These numbers, these are multiples of three. When I multiply three by something, I get a multiple of three. And multiples can go on and on. There are actually an endless number of multiples for each number. So when I multiply three by anything, I'm going to end up with a multiple of three. Three times six, three times seven, three times eight, three times nine, three times 10. We can keep going, multiplying three by bigger and bigger numbers each time, and every single time, we will end up with a multiple of three. So what are the multiples of three? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51, 54, 57, 60. These are all multiples of three and the list keeps going forever, literally forever. You could list multiples of three until the end of time. There is an infinite number of multiples for each number. When you think about multiples, think of the multiple monster. So the multiple monster makes numbers bigger. Each time you list a multiple of three, the number is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's actually increasing by the number itself. Each time it's going up by three. So the multiple monster makes numbers bigger. So why might we need to know about multiples? Why do we need to use multiples in real life? Let's say we have a bag, we have five bags of strawberries and there's three strawberries in each bag. How many strawberries do we have? Well, instead of counting each strawberry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, that's just not a very efficient way to count the strawberries. We have a better way because we know about multiples. We can use multiples to count groups of three like this. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. Multiples can also make it easier to solve multiplication and division equations. If I'm trying to figure out what three times seven is, I can just list multiples of three. When I list them out, I'm looking for which multiple is the seventh one on the list. Let's find out. Three, that's the first multiple of three. Six is the second one. Nine, that's the third one. 12 is the fourth multiple on my list. 15, that's the fifth one. 18 is the sixth multiple of three. And 21, 21 is the seventh multiple on my list when I listed out multiples of three. And that means that three times seven is 21. This also works with division equations, like 18 divided by three. This time, I'm listing multiples of three and I'm trying to figure out when I hit 18, what multiple is that? What number multiple on my list, like this? Three, that's the first multiple. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh look, there's 18. 18 is the sixth multiple on my list of multiples of three. So 18 divided by three is six. So how do we find multiples? Well, skip counting is a great way to find the multiples of a number. And some numbers are really easy to skip count by, like two. It goes like this, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. You've probably been counting by twos since you were very small. It's also easy to skip count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. These are multiples of five. When you are skip counting by a number, you're listing the multiples of that number. 10 is another easy one. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I could keep going. 110, 120, 130. These are multiples. Now, 
Some numbers are not as easy to skip count by. So you may need to use repeated addition to help you. Let's try skip counting to list the multiples of six. Hmm, I can't count by sixes as easily as I can count by twos, fives, and tens. So I may need to use addition here. Let's just think about adding six more. Six plus six is 12. So that's the next multiple on the list. Hmm, what would come after 12? Well, let's add six again. 12 plus six is 18. Let's add six again to get the next number. 18 plus six is 24. 24 plus six is 30. And I could go on and on. You can see this is kind of a lot of work. So really it's best to just memorize your multiplication facts. If you have your six facts memorized, you won't have to bother with all of this add six, add six, add six nonsense. You'll just know the multiples of six. Sometimes you can use a multiplication table or a multiplication chart to help you find multiples. So the multiples are actually on here twice. You can see here highlighted the multiples of one. They go over and also up and down. So they're in rows and columns. Those are multiples of one, multiples of two, multiples of three, multiples of four, multiples of five, multiples of six, multiples of seven. You get the idea. But there are times that you won't be able to use a multiplication chart, possibly even on a test. So remember, it's best to memorize these facts. So don't forget, when you're thinking about multiples, I want you to think of the multiple monster. That will help you remember that multiples get bigger and bigger and bigger each time, and they increase by the number that you're finding multiples for. Remember, the multiple monster makes numbers bigger. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. For more, please like and subscribe to my channel. And for lesson materials that go along with this video, be sure to check the link in the video description.